Back in November I reported about a mass grave found in the city Vianne in the Netherlands. The skeletons were uncovered during excavation work on the city moat. A section of the filled-in canal will be reconnected once again with the rest of the city canal. But of course, work on the canal has now come to a standstill awaiting excavations. The location where the skeletons were found is in or near the former Batenstein castle grounds. This castle was built around 1370 by order of Gijsbrecht van Beuzegem. The castle served as a residential location for noble families for 300 years until a fire in 1696 devastated the castle. The large keep was torn down in 1771. The rest of the castle followed in 1828 through 1829. Back in November 2020, when the discovery was first made public, they had found 20 skeletons and knew they were to find many more. At the time, it was unclear how many more skeletons they would find, how these people came to an end, and why they were laid to rest stacked on top of each other in this exact location. And even though we don't have all the answers at this point in time, we do have more information that I would like to share with you. In the last week of February, the archaeologists have told many news outlets that they think they have discovered how these people lost their lives, why the skeletons were found at this location, who these bodies belonged to and what the reason was for their demise. One of the biggest clues as to when these people lost their lives and were laid to rest came from the dental remains on some of the bodies. Almost all the teeth were in good condition for the time, but they had a specific type of wear on the teeth in just one place that is believed to be caused by the round stem of a pipe. Pipe smoking in the Netherlands started around 1600 for the wealthy, but wasn't a common widespread thing among other classes until 1690. The remains that were found seemed to suggest that they were relatively poor. The archaeologists found traces of extreme violence on the remains, and after a closer look and more research, they discovered saw marks. These saw marks are an indication that the marks were caused by surgeons amputating limbs from the wounded or conducting autopsies. This evidence of medical treatment being done on the body suggests that a field hospital was near this location. Upon research, they found out that indeed a field hospital was located on the castle grounds of Batenstein in Viana, just 100 meters from the location of where these bodies were found. According to the Amsterdamse Courant, the newspaper from the time, this field hospital was established on December 28 in 1794, and it was run by the British who were fighting against the French alongside the state army and the troops from Prussia. This leads archaeologists to believe that these uncovered bodies are British soldiers who were injured and died in the fight against the French in the First War of the Coalition. In my first video about this discovery, it was a possibility that these remains were the victims of the Eighty Years' War. But because of the type of wear found on the dental remains, we now know that that is impossible, since pipe smoking wasn't widespread among the poor. The War of the First Coalition was fought between April 20th, 1792 and October 18th, 1797. Several European powers fought against the Constitutional Kingdom of France, which, due to the French victory, became the French Republic. To be completely honest, I don't remember learning about the First War of the Coalition. It doesn't get spoken about as much as the Eighty Years' War, at least not from my perspective. We can read all about the French Revolution and what it brought to the Netherlands in the history books, said archaeologist Hans Veenstra. But we know little about the war years in our own country. It's a forgotten war. In the diaries of Corporal Robert Brown, we can read how much the soldiers must have suffered. One of his diary entries reads, The winter of 1794-1795 was brutal and harsh. Breath that the soldiers exhaled seemed to instantly freeze in the air. The tears they shed in their misery clung to their eyelids like frozen drops. There was far too little food and drink to at least remain a little warm inside. Morale was low and hunger was great. Half the regiment was sick and exhausted. Every day comrades died, sometimes 30 or 40 in one day. Brown was situated near a large field hospital in Rene, which is located approximately 40 kilometers to the east of Viana. Pits measuring 3 by 5 meters were dug where coffins were then put in. Pits measuring 3 by 5 meters were dug where coffins were then put in, stacked in rows. When a pit was full, it was covered with a layer of sand and another pit was dug close to it. The cold had one positive side. The men in the field hospital were spared from the sickly smell of corpses. The field hospital in Viana was much smaller, but the men here weren't spared these hardships. 
their bodies were laid to rest in the exact same way as Corporal Brown described it happening in Rene. Archaeologist Hans Veenstra thinks autopsies have been performed at the Viana Field Hospital as well. He said, one skull was sawn in half. Of course you only do that if someone has been ill or died of something that you would hope to prevent in the future. Councillor of the Municipality of Vijfere Lande Christa Hendriksen said, All findings make it plausible that the mass grave can be linked to the latter part of the 18th century and the first war of the coalition, and that the boys and men buried here were British citizens. The carbon dating analysis will take place in the United Kingdom. Due to the British link, the British government is informed of this mass grave. I am very pleased that the UK Ministry of Defence archaeological team is working closely with their Dutch colleagues from the Gemeente Vijfere Lande to help them continue their research to identify these remains and to ensure that they are treated with the respect that they deserve, said Christa Hendriksen. The British Embassy in the Netherlands was pleased to hear of these findings. British Ambassador to the Netherlands Joanna Roper spoke of a special find from a period of close cooperation between the UK and the Netherlands in the 18th century. It is yet another example of the close historical ties between our two countries. Both Dutch and British war archives are now being searched diligently for possible traces of the Vianse Field Hospital. The carbon dating analysis and isotope research will be done in Britain. Hopefully this will allow us to determine exactly how old these remains are. It could also give us clues as to where the men who lost their lives here grew up. It can take as much as a year before we have these results. We do hope to be 100% certain of our findings. At this stage we are quite certain, but not yet beyond a reason of doubt. Hans Veenstra said, in our wildest dream we will find the names of these boys and men who lost their lives here and give them back their identities. It would be wonderful if they were eventually reburied in their own country. More than 200 years is a long time but not so long that relatives can't be present. That's what we are going for. If there is more information in the future about this unique discovery, you can be sure I will report on it. It's fascinating to learn about a time in history in my own country that I didn't know much about. But with that said, you've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click the link in the description down below. I'd also like to thank my patrons, Richard, Barry, Floyd, Scott and NGC6543. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.